What's up, peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. First off, if you like this content that is coming to you, go hit that subscribe button on this channel. It means a lot. And also, guys, go like, go comment on all my videos that I have out there, guys. This means so much to me, guys. But today, we're going to talk about the 2020 season of Josh Moore, uh, Texas wide receiver, and just how he factored into the equation in last year's offense and how that's going to translate into this year's offense. And I'm going to break it down and give you what my raw score, my Nino's corner number, or my NCN, as you guys will hear, you know, just throughout this video, just what that means for him. So guys, if you don't know what the NCN is, the NCN is like a QBR for your tight ends, your wide receivers, your running backs, man. It's for your offensive skill position players. So it basically ranks the effectiveness, the efficiency of each each of these players. So I'm going to rank these guys. The average NCN for an offensive skill player is 40 points. And this is across all of college football. I've been doing this number now for like four, maybe five years. And so I've kind of crafted this to uh, a actually perfected number. So we're going to talk about Josh Moore with his NCN score. We're also going to have an adjusted NCN because the NCN is just not based off of raw data, guys. I actually look at the film. I look at which balls were catchable. I look at the drops. I look at everything, things that are not really tracked in college football. So I spent a lot of time in analyzing the film and the data just to just to get that true raw number so like i said guys the average ncn is 40 points for an offensive skill player position whether it's a wide receiver tight end or a running back um and let's just dive into the stats guys and look at josh moore's film guys let's take a look at josh moore season totals 30 receptions 57 targets 11 explosive plays, guys, meaning plays of 15 yards or more, 22 first downs, 474 yards, 151 yards after catch, yak, nine touchdowns, four drops, and an NCN of 45.2 points, which is five points above the NCAA average. Now, let's take a look at 129 yards, six receptions, eight targets against UTEP. Let's look at the, uh, at the highlights here. First play of the game, 75 yard touchdown, Josh Moore. You know, he's doing what he's supposed to do, outrunning some defensive backs, cornerback and safety from UTEP. And that's what we expect him to do against a team like UTEP. You get past those guys, you make a miss, you do your thing, off to the races. Josh Moore had a hell of a game that game. Next play, nice catch within five yards of the line of scrimmage, just based on the run play. Next play here, this one's actually uh, a ball that I'm not going to say it wasn't catchable. Maybe he could have caught it, but I didn't count it as a drop or an uncatchable ball. Next play shows his toughness, gets in there, gets a first down. A little bubble screen there, and gets the first down. The extension of the run play, it was, it was just for one yard. And then another play down the seam there, he catches the ball, high points it, takes on the contact. And another one, basically an extension of the run play. Makes a person miss, gets about three or four yards. Josh Moore against Texas Tech, guys. Five receptions for 73 yards, seven targets. First play, good catch across, good catch. Almost broke it there. Next play, I think he caught that for a touchdown. There he is. Shows you his high point ability. And it shows just, just the greatness that he can have in Steve Sarkeesian's offense. High point at that ball and got the touchdown. Look at it one more time. Goes up there, gets the ball, lets you know he is that guy. I'm a man. <laughs> Way to go. Next play, Sam throws. This one was, uh, that was just, a you know, four people in the area. Not the best throw. Next one, like a little bubble screen there. He gets just a yard. Nothing much there. Extension on the run play. It's where Sam goes out, throws the ball kind of low. You know, wasn't the best throw, but he threw it somewhere to where nobody else can actually get the ball. Touchdown. High points the ball. And that's the kind of plays that we're used to seeing Josh Moore do. Goes up the seam, untouched, touchdown. Nice play. Let's check, let's check it from a more angle. All right, let's go another play. Another touchdown. The ball is thrown slightly behind him, but he still makes a catch. Look at that. Still makes a catch. Good throw. Uh, good pass. Good catch. Against uh, TCU, he would owe for everything. No receptions, four targets. Let's just take a look at these. He actually dropped that ball. That was a drop. 
It's a good throw too, by the way. That one was a contested uh, pass. Next throw, he drops that ball too. He should have caught that ball. There's two drops in this game. Here's the next play. And that was just miscommunication with Sam. All right, against OU guys, eight receptions, 12 targets, 83 uh, yards, a touchdown, and one explosive play. Let's take a look at it. Uh, you know, double coverage, wasn't the best throw, wasn't the best decision. Nice catch here, comes out the back foot. Look at that, about 13, 14. Yak, way to go. Good play. Pass from Sam. Good contested play. Watch this. Watch that play from the defensive back. That was just a hell of a play from the DB. Who says the guys in Big 12 don't play defense? That was a hell of a play by the DB. Another pass here from Sam. Good catch. Eight yards. Another pass. Sam evades the rush, evades the rush again, passes to Josh Moore, who ends up gets, getting the first down. Way to go. Good play. Nice yak on that play. Good catch from him on that play also. Good catch. Good catch. Tried to fight for that first down. Nice catch there. Lost his foot in there. Another pass play from Sam. Another target. Interception. What a play by that defensive back. What a play. That, that, what a play. That ball should probably be thrown a little bit higher and maybe a little bit more to the corner. That's all right, though. Another good defensive play. Another good defensive play. Watch how the guy actually pokes this ball out of, uh, out of the bread basket there. Look at that. Bam. Just good defense. Good defense. Good defense by Davis. So, it is what it is. Another play. Pass. Touchdown. Yak. Touchdown. Way to go. Nice play. As you see, he turns it up field immediately gets a touchdown. Let's take another play. Sam, nice pass. Way to go. Next game against Baylor, guys. Uh, two receptions, three targets, 45 yards, and a touchdown. One is supposed to play. So let's take a look. Whoop, look at that catch. High point that ball, man. High point that ball. <laughs> High point that ball. Look at that. Way to go. It's a really, really good catch. This is the touchdown catch, if I'm not mistaken here. Touchdown, wide open. Good play. Wide open, good play. So that's two for two. Let's take a look at this third, um, this third target here that's that's about to come up. Mm, third target. Good play by the defense. Just, just a good play by the defense. Texas wins the game. He had a 77 point uh, uh, NCN. And here's a run here. Here's a run at the end. Not much. He's not the most quickest guy. All right, so next game against uh, OSU, one reception, seven targets, 19.1 NCN score. The adjusted total. Out of those seven targets, guys, five of them were non-catchable balls. His NCN should have actually been a 75.4 for this game. Let's take a look. Non-catchable ball. That's one non-catchable ball. Two non-catchable balls. Three non-catchable balls. Yeah, it was a catch, but it wasn't a catch. It just came from out of bounds. So, you know, you got to establish, uh, you know, inbounds a little bit sooner than that. You know, it's no catch. Incomplete. Four non-catchable balls. Five non-catchable balls. So even though he had seven targets, I don't count those five targets in my metrics, guys. Touchdown. Yeah, I don't count those five targets in my metrics because those are non-catchable balls. You can't expect your wide receiver. You, you can't hold your wide receiver, you know, accountable for balls that aren't catchable. So I took, I took this out of the metrics. Next game against Iowa State. Uh, one reception, four targets, 11 yards, a minus 16.6. 
uh, NCN, and he actually had one ball that wasn't catchable, which dropped his NCN to minus 20.9. Not the best game for Josh Moore here. We're going to take a look at these. He caught that one. I think that's his only catch for the game. And he fought for some tough yards there. So got a first down on the second and 11. Now, let, let's take a look at these. Yeah, he had a lot of time there. I said that was non-catchable. And maybe that was a drop. We'll see. I'm pretty sure that that one was a non-catchable ball. Goes down the seam. Yeah. In a triple coverage. And that was a drop. He should have caught that. Should have caught that one. That was a drop. So he had a drop and one non-catchable ball, and so it is what it is. Against Kansas State, uh, two receptions, three targets with a 44-point NCN and two explosive plays. So both of his catches were for explosive plays and two first downs. So, yeah, let's take a look at this one. There we go. Nice catch. He actually had three targets, and I took one of those away because it wasn't catchable. We're going to see here in a minute. That's a non-catchable ball. The ball was tipped even though he was targeted. So take a look at that. So he actually, he was two for three, but I said two for two because that ball was tipped. Not It's a non-catchable ball for him. But since he was the target, you know, the NCAA stats counts as a target for him. So I took that out of there when it's in the metric. And here's the third play. And good catch. Explosive play, uh, around 17, 18 yards. All right, so the bowl game against Colorado, guys, five receptions, nine targets, 86 yards, 37.9 NCN, two touchdowns, one drop. Okay, five for eight. I took one of those balls away, wasn't catchable, brings up his NCN to a 42.8. Nice catch. Nice yards after catch. Look at him run. Good play. Good play. Nice catch. I almost caught that. Should have caught that one. I said that was a drop. He had two hands on it. You got to catch that one. Should I caught that as a drop? Yeah. Two hands on it. Needs to catch that one. All right, guys. That one I said non-catchable. Did I say that one's non-catchable? Uh, maybe not. Let's take a look. Oh, good defense. Good defense. Watch that. Watch that. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Go make another play. Make another play. It's Casey Thompson. Boom. High points. That's what Josh Moore is really good at. Getting those kind of balls where he can go high point him. He's tall and he's lanky. He's only about 165 pounds, but he has good height on him. And he has some explosiveness to him. I love to see him. He's, he's really good at getting those high point balls. Another play, good catch. Needs to kind of cut it up a little bit sooner, but what can you do? Touchdown, bam, there you go. What a game. And I think that's the last catch for Josh Moore. Uh, yeah, that should be it for Josh Moore. No, we got one more. I think this one was almost an interception. I said that one. I think that one's a non-catchable. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. That one was a non-catchable. I mean, it was just right there. Yeah. I mean, he just threw it right to him. <laughs> but it is what it is, guys. So, adjust the season totals, guys. 30 receptions, 49 targets, 474 yards, NCN of 51.5, which puts him at a good high number, um, which is a, a very, very good score for a wide receiver in college football. All right, guys, so we see we have readjusted uh, Joshua Moore's uh, NCN you know, score from a 45.3 or so from what is the raw data score to what my metric is. I took away eight passes that weren't catchable, you know, so that actually raised his NCN score to a 51.5, which is a very, very respectable number when it comes to wide receivers, you know, just in the college uh, game. So the average score for a college wide receiver, guys, is what I told you, 40 points, and Josh Moore gets a 51.5. Like I say, take away those eight balls that weren't catchable. He did have four drops throughout the season. Um, he has some pretty decent yak, you know, so almost a third of his yards were actually yards after catch. Uh, and, and he's a great receiver with a great talent who can, who's really good at high pointing the ball. 
especially for his size, with him being just a little bit on the slender side, you would think he wouldn't be somebody who can go up there and, and boss somebody like to go get a ball, but he does that and he did it routinely. You saw it against Colorado, he did it twice. You saw it against, um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, UTEP, he did it. Um, you saw it against OU. I mean, he's done this pretty much all season. So he, he played nine games this year. He had nine touchdowns. So that's a touchdown per game, basically. So this is this is a really good, you know, wide receiver who knows how to high point the ball, knows how to go catch the ball. You saw it against Baylor in that first catch he had when he goes down the field and basically jumps over two guys to get the ball. Like I said, I love his ball skills when it comes to catching the ball. I love what he does for his team. Let's see how Steve Sarkeesian can use him and, and, actually fur, and, and actually further utilize those talents here in the upcoming season. I expect big things from Josh Moore. Should be a good season for him, along with the other wide receivers here on this team. And I just can't wait for the season to start, guys. We're in a down point right now where we're in the spring season. Uh, COVID has kind of you know hampered down the, uh, the uh, spring season so far. Who knows what's going to happen with the spring game. It, ho hopefully the guys can make it through the summer and we can have a nice fall camp. Um, but guys like Josh Moore are going to be the ones who are going to have to step up and assure that this team has the wide receivers, uh, the, the talent that is necessary for them to win a lot and win often in the Big 12. I expect big things from him as well as all of the other wide receivers too. But on that note, guys, man, I'm out of here, man. Uh, you know how I always end this. Do you. Don't be afraid to fail. I'll grow your environment. Understand your brilliance. And on that note, man, I'm out. Love you guys. Nino's Corner, I'm out. Salute to you.